Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. A great guilt afflicts me. I have witnessed a wicked power. One which I enticed into this world. It has brought suffering and misery upon my sisters. And I fear there is no way to stop it. Only a fake witch. <laughs> Another necromancer? Yes, my lord. Thank you. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Well, we need not prolong these proceedings any further. This court can offer up no other judgment than a sentence of death. Though the accused may stand here mute, I can assure you that she will find her voice when she is lashed to the stake and put to blaze. Whether it is her voice or the voice of her creator remains to be seen. Who defends this woman? Who is her advocate? And who could or would defend the indefensible, hmm? Only Pilot was as bold. You are blind to both my concerns and my business, Magistrate. My only blindness, madam, is to your identity. Perhaps you can help me shed the scales from mine eyes. I am Sister Margaret Aquina, prioress to the Sisters of the Eucharist. How is any of this of your concern, hmm? I provide purpose to the fallen, such as she who stands before you. Well, I serve the will of the people, and they nor I will offer sanctuary to any of this, this unnaturalness. We share similar goals, Magistrate, but our priorities differ. She is to be released to me to remain in our charge, in perpetuity. A penitent soul holds more value than kindling for a fire. Well, this is a secular court. Here we serve the laws of man. If scripture be true, then you and any bride of Christ has no experience in any of these matters. If scripture be true? Hmm. You caught a blasphemy on my arrival, and now you embrace heresy. The inquisitors have little humor, and I have the ear of many. Can the scent of the pie be so attractive to you that you would willingly invite it upon yourself? Uh. We have no need for outside influences in these proceedings. Release her into the capable hands of the Reverend Mother. Sister Lucilla, prepare her for her journey. Come, my child.
May the Lord continue to bless you with his wisdom. Welcome home, Reverend Mother. Sister Adela, this is Persephone. Follow me. Persephone, this way. Emmeline, this is Persephone. Emmeline, you know we are forbidden to have these things. Take better care to not let others see it. The Reverend Mother often seems harsh, but she saved us. That's what she does. She gathers fallen women from town to town and offers us a new beginning. Come. Pray you enjoy our hospitality. Be quick. 
Are you hungry? Did you sleep well? And the first night in a new place can often be difficult. I'm Catherine. What is your name? Persephone. Persephone? That's so pretty. I am unaware of that saint. There isn't one. It is a heathen name, one that has no place here. Our new ward needs to learn to be less clumsy. I will not tolerate such wastefulness. Back to work with you. Yes, of course, Mother. Pick that up and return it to the kitchen. Sister Anna Frances will show you the way. Praise be. We have been blessed with a new soul. Persephone, the kitchen is this way. We need to be strict with her, Catherine. She knows her place. She will learn. Idiot child. Familiarise yourself with the grounds. Does your carelessness have no limits? Do you know why you're here? to serve penance. The Reverend Mother is a beacon to those such as us, such as you. Where others would shun, she embraces. Where others condemn, she offers forgiveness, understanding. Those outside the walls have condemned you. We will redeem you. So contact from beyond these walls is forbidden. And this rule is rigorously enforced. The sister you spoke to was Sister Bernadine. She has responsibility for the care of our sick. But the freshly broken soil taunts her, monument to her failure. Our fellow sisters are fallen, gathered to God all too soon. Of all the grounds, it is here you must favor. Food is scarce. You must tend to it as well as you can to provide for us all. Hello there. I wonder if you could help me. I'm forbidden to speak to you. Wait. What's happened to Catherine, the girl who tended the gardens before you? I used to enjoy my talks with her. We were quite close hey! before. Wait, I was only trying to talk. You scatter your affections broadly, don't you? You've been warned before. Leave us be. Save your tongue. What has happened? She engaged with a young man beyond the wall. Take her to the cellar. <laughs>
Sister Anna Francis, fetch two pails of water. Have you forgotten already the consequences of your dealings with those that sought your flesh? First, to feed the fire, and now with lust. You may think I have granted you a reprieve, but you are misguided. You shall burn, Persephone, unless you choose a different path. Our path. Lucilla. Stay clear of here, tradesmen. Pardon? They won't last long. Who? A greater infection than their faith comes close. What do you mean? It is not something any soul should witness, so please, stay clear. Show Persephone to the washrooms. His name is Ellis. We were witnessed speaking together. I was told that I was encouraging both him and myself to sin. And that was when the Reverend Mother reassigned my duties to the laundry. He wanted to take me away from this place. He would tell me these tales. Something horrible had happened here many years ago, that this place is damned. Have you ever seen anything here? What? No, of course not. This is a holy place. His tales were just to lead me away. Persephone. Come. What are we doing with these? The Lord chooses not to keep us idle. to them. Struck down with fever, but of its origin we are not sure. All we can do is comfort them in their suffering and pray for their salvation. They can't have much longer now. Sister Bernadine, Lucilla, I need help. <laughs> She could see me. 
That cannot be true. I tell you, she looked right at me. Sister Bernadine. I pray you rest easy, sister. Your efforts were invaluable, as ever. Go and pray for that lost soul. We will prepare her for burial. Attend to these. They do not deserve to be punished in this way. Whatever sins they bear, they cannot deserve the afflictions they endure. I beg forgiveness on my own past. My desires which gave birth to sin, I have now given myself to you. I beg of you, please do not take another one of these poor souls from us. If this is a test of my own perseverance and faith, I fear my strength runs dry. My vision blinded, my faith wavering. I joined this priory, this flock, to find salvation, to find forgiveness. I have not found either. I have only found doubt within these walls. I need strength. I need nourishment. Provide me with a sign that my path is one of righteousness, that come the day of judgment, I shall be spared. For the sustenance we are about to receive, we are truly thankful. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. What happened to that soul in the infirmary? We do not talk of these things. Have prayers been said for her yet? And why has Sister Bernadine not prepared her for burial? It is not our concern, Catherine. Why does Sister Bernadine stare at us so? Those idle whispers tell me you've enjoyed sustenance enough this evening. Go to your rooms. Sorry, Persephone. I could not sleep. I lived with my parents before this. Did they send you here? No. They had no real faith to speak of. No prayers were said at our house. I do not judge them. Not all are blessed as we are. I would pray so hard for them. And my prayers were answered. I met the Reverend Mother. But... It is not as I expected it to be here. You should not let me talk on so. <laughs> What about you? Do you have family? I used to live on a farm with my parents. It was just the three of us. I didn't have any brothers or sisters. But my mother said I was all the blessing they needed. She sounds lovely. She was. And I was so very happy until one night I had a terrible nightmare. I dreamt that our cattle shed was set afire. Our herd inside screaming. 
My parents calmed me, told me it was just a dream. The next day, the barn burnt to the ground. But what I hadn't seen, what my dream hadn't shown me was that my mother was inside. There was nothing we could do. My father was distraught. He blamed me, thought I'd brought a curse upon them. The village feared I was a witch. So after we buried my mother's remains, I was chased away. I will never forget the intense heat, that putrid smell, or the sound of my mother screaming. Stupid girl! You break your curfew and now my vigil. My patience with you grows thinner by the hour. claim was once made of you. Forgive me, Mother. I forget myself. Then you are fortunate indeed. Persephone. This is for your own good. You will understand in time. Sister.
provisions of the soil provided for us have dwindled. To the gardens, the day is wasting. Hello there. Engaging with you is costly to me. I'm sorry. I had to come back to warn you. About what? Last time I saw you, there was a woman outside. She spoke of infection. There is worse than that. There is a wretchedness here. Something lurks within these walls. Of its intentions, I am not yet sure, but... We are not safe here. But if you are not safe here, then neither is Catherine. You both must leave this place. Catherine said you told her of something that happened here a long time ago. What do you know? Just the whispers and rumors in the village. It, it happened before I was born. Nobody will talk of it. I need to find out what happened here. The woman who I saw before, she knew. She tried to warn me. You must go. If we are caught... Wait. For Catherine. I've just seen Ellis. He wants to help us. Help us? If I'm caught. What are you concealing from me? Nothing, sister. Catherine, give it to me. Please. The Reverend Mother need not know any of this. Need not know of what exactly? Must you find perdition so tempting? Take them. Why is it every day you feel compelled to challenge me? It was just a note. We will put an end to your distractions. And you, you little harlot, you need to learn this will no longer be tolerated. Some possess more strength than others. Mother, I, I don't understand. It is not for you to understand. Only God. Has this not been spectacle enough for you? Of all the things encouraged in this priory, an appetite for the suffering of others is not. Pray for this lost soul. And your own. Leave us.
Same again next week. Just one more thing. What is it? I'm looking for someone. An old woman. She dresses in black. I don't know her. Wait, please. She has scars on her hands and... She's best ignored, son. She's not all there. Where can I find her? I know where she is. I need to talk to her. Why? I need help. It's urgent. Just tell me. Now. The old abbey. The ruins to the east. But without a horse, it's a day's walk through the forest. Thank you. Leave her be. We've done enough. What is happening to us? I've never seen such things. I pray and I pray. But clearly not enough. All of this I have foretold. Now it has begun in earnest. Has your faith not been strengthened and forced by what we have seen, what we have endured? These sisters have been cleansed in the blood of the Lamb. Their sacrifice has gained them the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray that we have the strength to follow. We need to leave this place. Leave? And where would we go? Does it matter? We're safest here. Was Bernadine safe? We are not alone here. I've seen someone. Who do you see? How? What do you mean? A girl. A young girl. An entity. I see things. That's why I'm here, why I was branded a witch. We are in great danger. Stop this. You're upsetting Emmeline. The Reverend Mother harvested Bernadine's eyes. Do you not see? If we don't leave this place, we will all suffer the same fate. We have to stay. We have a higher purpose. This order is damned, and us with it. The only purpose we will serve will be as carrion for the crows. Silence! You're scaring Emmeline. Look what you've done. Do not worry so. Persephone was just trying to frighten you. Nothing is coming for us. I've always protected you, and I would never leave you. What is going on here? Forgive her, sister. Emmeline has had a turn. Persephone has told us. What has she told you? She spoke of... Go on. Nothing of consequence, sister. Just tall tales. Return to your chambers. It is forbidden to congregate like this. Now. Please don't take her lamp. She's afraid of the dark. This was a luxury afforded by the Reverend Mother out of kindness. When you are disobedient, privileges are rescinded. Now to your rooms. There is little profit in questioning my actions.
I had a feeling I would see you again. What do you want? When I saw you at the Priory, you told me to stay away. What is happening in the Order? What do you know? Nothing that will benefit you or your friends. I believe they are in grave danger. Please. When I was young, younger than you are now, my desire to serve Christ was overwhelming. I joined the Order to fulfill God's will. And there, with my fellow novices, we did just that. We were a close group, led by the eldest novice. When she arrived at the Order, her soul was weary and full of sorrow. She told us only her devotion and sacrifice to the Lord had saved her. She had been in the Order longer than any of us, and we therefore believed her to be wiser and closer to God. His mighty power had given her strength and enlightenment. She felt a purity only possible from continued spiritual harmony with God. We aspired to be as close to God as she was. She told us our faith had to be complete, our belief unparalleled. But she claimed our faith alone would not grant us salvation. We had to be tested to prove our worthiness. We were willing to face any challenge for his love, his grace, his mercy. We performed a conjuring, believing our faith and the power of the divine would protect us from whatever spirits we woke. The most innocent of us was chosen to be the seer and to make a sacrifice in blood. There would be no turning back after the first drop of blood was offered up. But we worried not. Our combined faith was to shield her and all of us from harm. We waited. And waited. But eventually, Thanks to our strength and devotion, it arrived. It was revealed only to her, but we felt its presence, its immense power. I can see him. I can see him. Whatever it was, whatever she could see, its attention was fixed solely on her. could not have predicted what happened next. Her body fought with all its might as a fever beset her. She flinched and rocked, speaking in tongues, utter blasphemy. But the conflict proved too much for her. We feared she had passed. Her soul given refuge by the good Lord. But how wrong we were. She rose. Her eyes filled with a wrath beyond limits. A craving for death and destruction. A thirst for flesh and blood. She rained hell upon us. We witnessed evil in its purest form. Surrounded by my fallen sisters, I was to face the consequences of our heresy. My time had come, and I accepted my fate. But in a cruel mockery of our faith, the malevolent spirit left her body and entered those of her victims. 
her doom was sealed. It is said her soul was stripped from her body and left to wander the corridors in perpetuity. I left, vowing never to return. The eldest novice remained, and for years I watched from afar as many women went into that place. Never have I seen any leave alive. They don't deserve this. I have to help. You must come with me. For what purpose? How can you not want to help? People are going to die. I've answered your questions. Now leave. Have you no conscience? Then you are truly damned. Of that, I have no doubt. Enough. Go to the chapel. Now. You are both to prepare Emmeline for burial. Adela, we have to leave. This is my home. This is home to more than just you and the sisters. And whatever else is here, it means you nothing but harm. I tell you this. Catherine and I are leaving, with or without you. You can't. I will tell Reverend Mother. Sister Lucilla. It's Catherine. She has the fever. I need to speak to Reverend Mother. She's in her quarters. Can you hear me? Catherine, what? 
What did they do to you? I have seen now. What have you seen? I must be with him. His is the only way. Who? Catherine. Catherine. Persephone. Persephone, I'm frightened. Do not be fearful. What are you doing in here? Leave her be. Why is she bound to the bed like For this? For her own safety. But... You are not needed here. Get out. What is it? The Reverend Mother. She was burning the eyes of Bernadine. Now do you believe? Adela, I need your help. We do not have much time. You untie her. I'll get the keys. How? Sister Anna Francis holds them. Do not worry. I'll find a way. We have to get her out of here. Mother. Do you think it would benefit us to seek help from the village? Do you question my judgment? No, Mother. Have you forgotten the pledge you made to me and to this order? Of course not, Mother. I'm sorry. I... I have the divine right to act as I see fit for the safety of this priory and all within it. I do not doubt your judgment, but there are so few of us left now. As the Lord decrees. Just do as I say. Taking her. No, do not dare open that door. I'm trying. Yes. Catherine. Visions. Catherine, please, you must hear me. <sighs> Catherine, look at me. Look at me! I'm real. She is lost to us, and to the grace of God. Are 
I don't understand. How could you? I offered you a reprieve. I offered you purpose. I offered you redemption. And in return, you have condemned us further. I witnessed you burning the eyes of Sister Bernadine. Why? After she suffered so much to be relieved of them and their wicked visions, would I return them to her when she finally found peace? I have preached to you all of penitence to place all others before you. And in the eyes of God, this will grant you access to paradise, to life eternal. You need not mourn your fallen sisters. They have been freed from the shackles of their sins. Their sacrifice has gained them a state of grace. And now it is your turn to follow their example. Because if you do not, you will never gain access to the kingdom of heaven. Instead, you will bear witness of the resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake to everlasting life, but the others will return to disgrace and everlasting contempt. Christ will compel us to glory. No satisfaction with us here. Do not engage with it. But are we not sisters? We you offer me no sense. Have you not missed me? <laughs> to you has gained me. This was not my doing. Wait, Mother, where are you going? Do you leave me? My beloved Lucia, where is your savior now? Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Terrible. Weren't you always just a fucking child? to the others.
Ó. You should be happy. For I have something for you. Something wonderful. There is so little that's forbidden to me now. Let me provide the protection that you promised and failed to give. Adela? Adela? Not that way. We must go to the chapel. There's a way out beneath the altar. <laughs> Where's Catherine? She is lost. We have to find her. If anything were to happen... You don't understand. She's dead. No. You're wrong. She's dead, Ellis. She can't be. She had the visions. The fever. I tried. There was nothing I could do. We must leave this wretched place, Ellis. Or else we will suffer the same fate. Lucilla spoke of a way out. Under the altar in the chapel. This way. How many more must suffer? Elizabeth, I often wondered what happened to the fresh-faced novice that I once knew. I fear that time has been less kind to you than me. You are not welcome here. Your opportunity to gain redemption has long since passed. You claim to offer salvation. I have witnessed your foul resurrections before, remember? What retribution have you now brought upon us? What promise did you make to him this time? You could never understand. He never spoke to you the way he did to me. His voice. Such a beautiful voice. He sang to me. These women are damned. Only through their sacrifice can they gain the keys to the kingdom of heaven. To truly appreciate the divine. One must embrace the diabolical. Your heresy has condemned us all to the pit. Beware, false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but within they are ferocious wolves. By their fruits shall you recognize them. You dare preach scripture to me! I pray you understand. Push! Push it!
Dearest Persephone. Catherine. Well, if it isn't my savior. What has happened to you? My knight. My prince. Where were you when I needed you most? When I was vulnerable and I was frightened? I'm so sorry. I didn't know what was happening here. Please forgive me. Shh. Well, no matter. My need of you is greater now. Another one dead. How very unfortunate, Persephone. It seems anyone who puts their trust in you suffers the same fate. Even your own mother, consumed with fire in front of your eyes, to stand there and watch her burn. Your love for her must have been truly overwhelming. How dare you speak of my mother? No matter now. You will join her soon. She is waiting for you on the other side. You will like it, Persephone. It's so beautiful. No. Yes. Oh, yes. Come with me. The Reverend Mother, she has found our true calling, our path to righteousness. She said we can be angels. Persephone! Embrace her. Embrace her, Persephone. Trust me. Give your life to God. For if you don't, you burn as I predicted. Give your life! <laughs> Very fitting that you will join your mother the same way she left this world. Leave your sins here. Join me. We are to be together. Embrace me. Embrace this. Ah!